and but it has been said by the some of the good geographers you know that it has said that landscape in different stages has been formed and uh, somewhere it, it which has been evolved and uh, on by seeing this landscape we can say that it belongs to this stage understood but it has been said that every stage does not have the same life span then we talked about the stage about the time I said that time is not an a what is an a, it is an a debatable concept that it is not an a kind of landform factor de, factors determining the landform but uh, every mechanism like endogenetic exogenetic forces which are acting on the landform it will take some time it will take some time to give in a different kind of landform and it has been also said that none of the morphological feature on the earth surface geomorphological feature has on the surface it will form in a very short interval of time so it is taking more time and over the long period of time uplifted landform converted and decay and convert into penny plane understood then i talked about time and then it means time is also keeping in importance and then next point i said that uh, topography and then topography means slope and relief and I said that slope is directly proportional to that I said that uh, rate of erosion and weathering or western Himalayas jahan pe bhi hai, western ghat everywhere there is a slope is steeper then they are more pr uh, prone to rate of erosion I thoda sa samjaya why do the eastern Himalayas is highly uplifted and why do the Himalayas naturally should have a more landslide because of steeper slopes and then we have discussed over there and then topography about gravity and then gravity means mass movement I said and then mass movement ka matlab hai landslide, soil creep, mud flow and everything is happening jo bhi hai creep, soil creep, solely fluxion, mud flow, debris flow, earth flow and then these are the section it is a mass movement or ye kaise hota hai I said that under the pool of gravity of weathered rock simple hai. under the pool of gravity of so I said that it is an our down for downward movement of weathered particles of rock under the pool of gravity through the medium of air, water and ice understood and then different kind of mass movement and it is again determining the different kind of landforms and if it is in a very steeper slope suddenly the slope will be steeper slope will have what is an erosion fast erosion but gentle slope very gentle slope is not erosional but depositional like talus deposits. Thereafter, we have seen like yes. Uh, after, हमने क्या देखा? कौन सा किया अभी मैंने? Topography and gravity, gravity के लिए and then uh, gravity mass movement and uh, after that biota पहले भी discuss किया and then space in different space will differently behave all this is, uh, role and then I said process endogenetic and exogenetic and then rate of endogenic process. So this is the factors controlling the landform. Okay. So it has been finished and after a gap of interval or thoda kal class nahi lunga mein parso aapka test rahega jo this year means de rahe geomorphology ka and uh, meri awaz kal se hi kharab ho rahi hai yadi main kal bhi lunga to awaz kal rest lunga mein monday ko class hogi and parso aapka test rahega dhyan rakhiyega and so so i am coming after और मैं यदि फोन कर दिया आप लोगों के फोन नंबर यहाँ पे सभी को है ना यदि मैं थोड़ा सा फील कंफर्टेबल किया तो आई टेक द क्लास रिमेंबर दैट से यदि फोन आपके पास चला जाएगा देन यू हैव टू कम टू मॉर क्योंकि मेरी कल शाम से ही आवाज़ बैठने लग गई थी सो so, यहाँ पे सांस फूलने लग जाता है मेरा तो आप लोग इसके ऊपर जितने क्वेश्चन लिखे यू आजकल ग्रीन एरिया देख रहा है जहाँ से बच्चे पढ़ते नहीं हैं और आपको देखना चाहता है 